Hey, it's Peter here again. So Ring Fit Adventure has a mode called Multitask Mode, basically encouraging working out while you're not playing the game. You simply have to have a Joy-Con attached to the Ring Con, ensure the console is in sleep mode, hold down the joystick until it goes boop, and then either press in or pull out on the Ring Con to do a rep. You can redeem up to 500 reps in one day for experience and sweet, sweet coin in adventure mode. And you can send it as a gift to someone as well, which is pretty neat. But let's be honest, just pressing the ring in or pulling it out is boring. You can kind of speed run it to get your experience each day, which can just look a little bit like this. Which is, is fine. I mean, you'd get a nice little pump from doing that 500 times, but there are some more creative ways to use multitask mode as part of your workout. So here's five ideas I've come up with so that you can use it as part of any workout. Now, these movements are mostly based in movements in Ring Fit Adventure itself, so it might not be particularly new to you, but it's still just kind of giving you that idea of using it in a different way. So make sure before exercising that you warm up, and when you're done, you stretch and cool down. Um, you know, usual stuff. Keep yourself hydrated as well. So the first move is the front press. This is a basic one, activating biceps and pectoralis major. This works well before an arm heavy exercise as an activator with both uh, a push and pull motion that you can do. Um, pulling it out will hit the triceps more than the biceps because they do have the whole agonist antagonist relationship. When one contracts, the other extends and this happens with that isometric pull as well. Um, so place the ring horizontal in front of you, press in or out, easy works well before push-ups this one second is the back press this is a neat one we hit larger muscles in our back spinal erectors triceps as well uh, to hold the position with good posture you're also going to need your abs to activate as well to stay up straight so you will feel that raise the ring above your head hinge at the elbows and press or pull while keeping your chin tucked in this is a neat way to activate before something like a shoulder press or even a pull-up Number three, we've got the glute bridge. Now this is a bit of an interesting one because you're using your glutes, your hamstrings, your erector spinae and your abs for this. And this is strictly a push in only. Now lay on your back, knees up with feet on the ground and then raise up at the hips. Place the ring between your legs and press. Holding the position may be a little bit difficult, but it's great before your squats, your deadlifts, you know, getting those glutes activated. Honestly, a really good exercise to put in any routine. So at number four, thigh press, similar to the glute bridge, but done while sitting up, just like in the thigh rider mini game. Now, in fact, doing that mini game as the exercise is great. You'll use your adductors with this uh, pretty well. Um, so just sit on the seat, put the ring between your legs, just above the knees, and then press in. Again, good for your exercises, uh, good for your leg exercises, especially lateral ones. At number five, rotator. So this is a fun one and uses your core muscles to rotate from one side to another as well as your biceps and triceps for the push and pull. Just hold the ring in a neutral position and twist to one side, then move across the other side in a smooth motion. Kind of like the lunge rotation twist in game. You can press or pull or alternate. Um, if you want to change this up, lunge and then twist. This is great for warming up any upper body lateral moves like a wood chop or passing the ball in footy or something. And there we go, five ways to make multitask mode more interesting and actually use it in your workouts. Get bonuses in game and get bonuses with gains. <laughs> it's really good for activation to make sure that your muscles are warm and the muscle fibers are recruited to make them work more efficiently. So the rest of your workout, whether it's smashing Drago on ring fit or smashing some heavy squats is going to be better. I hope you enjoyed the video and the ideas. Let me know if you've used any of them for your workouts. If you would like to support me, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Ring Fit Adventure content. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.